What's going on, guys? So today on this Shoki Out the Box reaction review, we have a new figure. It's just a mild remold and slight uh, add-on tool version of a character I've already gotten, and it is the new Super Saiyan Gohan from Dragon Ball Stars. I just realized it's a Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Stars. So I haven't picked up a Dragon Stars figure in a little while. I believe... Who was last? Wow, was it? Oh, it was the Androids. Okay. I was like, who was the last figure I got? Um, but they have a whole new wave out that I want almost every figure in the wave. So, well, I say almost, but like... So they've got new Super Saiyan Goku, they've got new Super Saiyan Vegeta, new Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, which I definitely don't need, because it's the exact same figure with blue hair. Um, but it is a different blue than one we have already, so who the hell knows? Um, I'm surprised I don't have Super Saiyan Blue Goku in the new new uh, head sculpt. I've looked at them. I can't justify the full price, especially at GameStop. Um clearance will probably be if and when I get those. However, there's a Bardock figure that I want. There's also Cooler and uh, original movie Gogeta. Super Saiyan Gogeta. Um, so those I'm probably going to pick up. The only problem I have with that Gogeta is his head looks tiny. Uh, it's a weird thing that they do with some of these characters and I believe they're reusing the uh, previous Gogeta body. Hold on, I gotta get to my knife, which is way over here in my toolbox. Okay, so, um, oh, speaking of which, I'm sitting here talking about it. You can see the back here. So you get Piccolo. Also, I do want this Piccolo, so he's he's in his things here, so he will match the Gohan. I do want Krillin. I have not seen Krillin yet, which I find really strange. I have seen this uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Gogeta, Vegeta. I've seen those figures. I don't want Super Saiyan 4s in my collection because I'm against them. But I guess in some degree, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is not as bad, in my opinion, because of the outfit and the red hair sort of makes it for me, I guess. Krillin, I do want. I have not seen him, which is really weird. So in the end run, I might end up getting him off of like BBTS or something like that. Now, I did pay the GameStop price. Um... But frankly, with everything going on in the world today, um, I really just wanted to buy a toy. I'm not gonna lie. Needed something to cheer me up with all the crap going on, um, including like my parents going through it. I actually ended up having to uh, go shopping for them today to get them toilet paper. And then on my way home, I'm like, I'm stopping at GameStop. One, see if I can find the last foot soldier I need. So I need my fourth foot soldier. Uh, we got the blue background. Um, I did not find another foot soldier. I'll have to probably pick that up later at some other point. Uh, but I just want to have four. Why can't I just have four? I want another melee one. I need more extra weapons. Uh, go watch the reviews of those guys, if you haven't already. And go watch the uh, weapons rack building thing that I've already done. And I've got pictures for my weapons rack 1.2, which has better weapon storage, more details, and everything else like that. No video on that. You just have to find the pictures over on the main channel and on the Facebook page. I do have tiny Gohan hands. Those are useless. I don't care. Because what I want. And, like... I feel they should have done this one first. Because logistically, it makes more sense. Okay, so they did the thing where the cape is sticking out the back. I was going to say, aside from Piccolo, nobody else has a cape. So far in this. We need a pike on. I just realized that. We don't... We've not gotten a pike on. kind of want to... Let's see, hold on. Is PyCon... Yeah. PyCon was in Fusion Reborn. Because... I believe PyCon helped fight Janemba. So, I mean, he's already canon, more or less, because he's in the other world tournament, but... Okay, is it just the cape that's stuck? What's happening here? Oh, the hair was stuck. Okay. So, um, this cape, I'm having Moon Knight flashbacks, uh, like 100%. 
Okay, so I think... Okay, I was, I, I was wrong, but I was thinking there was a thing. This head sculpt is awesome. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that is an awesome Gohan head sculpt. Like, that is really nice. Look at that. He's in serious mode. I do wish they... Everybody always says serious mode. Nobody has a relaxed face. Like, they need that. Also, we need a Mr. Satan. I assume we'll get one soon. Uh, but look at that hair. That is ridiculous. That is 100% that. And he's even got, like, the bowl cut backside, which is really neat. Now, comparatively, it's the same body that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan had. That's what I was getting at. Then we needed this one first because, chronologically, it would just make sense. He was like this first. Um, I would also like... Um, oh, God, the same ankles. Uh, the same really problematic Piccolo feet. Um, I want Time Chamber, Goku, and Gohan with the uh, Saiyan bodysuits, Battle Damage, and other. So we need Super Saiyan Gohan. Like, they'll never give it to us, but we also need long hair, young Gohan, not like the baby Gohan, like when it's just like rat tails, but like <clears throat> going into this long hair, long ish hair Gohan with just the piccolo wraps like around his neck. Like, I, I need more of those. Like the earlier Z figures versus like. We've only had, I guess in theory, some some Frieza stuff. Also, Ginyu Force. Come on. Give us the Ginyu Force. Give us the Ginyu Force in a whole set. Give us all five Ginyu Force in one box set for like 100 bucks, Maybe 120 Do them good. I would definitely do that. Big ass Jace, Captain Ginyu. Or not Jace? Birder. Birder was a big one. That's right, they got smaller and smaller. Because you got to, you no, know, do it for 100 because you have to justify Goldo, who's only like that tall. I want this. Make it happen, Bandai. Um, I don't even own oh, a Raccoon. Almost forgot about Raccoon. Five. Yeah. I want that. So, either way, uh, this Gohan, really cool. I like the head. And I believe, let's just hope and pray. Yep, it comes right off. We do have the cape is removable. Yeah. But yeah, definitely, definitely getting some vibes here from uh, <laughs> from uh, Moon Knight on the Hasbro side. Obviously, not the same company. There's also like almost a twinge of pearl to that, which is interesting. But if we go like he's just getting into battle with Cell, look at this. I mean, like they got the muscles, they got all the things. Look at him. It's really awesome. Can I get, let me see if I can get the other one down. Okay, so body sculpt wise, exactly the same. But what would have been interesting is if they did give him slightly bigger arms. I am wondering, so, you know, he and Krillin are essentially the same size through most of the series. And ironically, it actually kind of looks like Krillin grows with Gohan. Oh, hold on. I want to see something here. Is it the same? Okay, it's not the same head sculpt or face sculpt, but it's very close. The eyes are definitely the same Tampo design. But the main reason I say it is this Gohan has elf ears and this one does not. He's got very round ears. He's got very pointy ears. That is an interesting detail difference. I'm, I'm actually a little too happy to have this. Like, it's kind of funny. Like, this version of Gohan, super iconic. Especially if you were into Cell games. And especially if you're into the final couple chapters of Dragon Ball Z Abridged, where Gohan really had to do the thing. And, you know, turn Super Saiyan 2, goes against Cell. Also, we need Battle Damaged Gohan. But I am happy that he does come with the uh, the cape bit, even though it's essentially crap. I kind of wish they could make it to this hinged. Um, you know what's funny is I have Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan uh, figure out a standard kit. I need to build it now. Like, I bought it because of that version of the character. Now, the other thing is that, that 
he doesn't come with a Super Saiyan head. He only comes with a two head. Okay, so if you ever wanted to see him go Super Saiyan 2, but have the cape, there you go. <laughs> and granted, you could probably... Well, I was going to say, you could probably put this on Gotenks, but not so much. Um, not with that uh, fusion outfit. The weird, strange Saiyan fusion outfit that always happens. Um, I do assume I'm going to have trouble with this go on. One thing is, he's actually a fairly balanced figure, like, in and of himself. Uh... So as long as the knees hold out, he'll actually do pretty good. Let's see what if an Anakin head will fit. Oh, good God. That was a bad idea. He looks like... Yeah, no. Uh -uh. Got a Tyrion thing going on. Um, the Super Saiyan hair is painted as good as it ever is. Um, there's been a couple that weren't bad, but then there's just most of them that suck. Uh, the last Super Saiyan I got was Shirtless Goku. And it wasn't terrible, but it also wasn't good. I still need to get a stand for Gotenks, because he's just... So I need to get him on one of those NECA stands, and then glue him to it, because he will still fall over. The hair weighs so much. I really felt like I just dropped the cape. I did. Okay. I forgot to put the cape back on. Um, so this means I do need to get Piccolo. Uh, the other option would be if somebody would, I don't know, take one of these apart, mold it, and sell it separately so you don't have to go and buy a whole separate figure. I mean, part of me wishes that they legit would just sell um, add-on kits or add-on parts for these figures. Like, oh, you want a Gohan with the... With the Piccolo cape, here you go. You know, not gonna lie, doorways are gonna be hard. But if you kind of approach it at a 45 degree angle, you can make it. Um, but either way, it looks good. I need to get the Piccolo with the turban, with the thing. I think it would be awesome. So you can go with this Gohan. That's what the other reason you have to get like baby Gohan or even, you know, early training mode Gohan. Uh, because then it goes perfectly with caped Piccolo. I dig that. We also need more of a Cell Games Piccolo, who's way more ripped than the one we have. Because there is, like, a legit difference. Like, if you look at it, even the outfit, while 90% the same, doesn't fit in the same. So everybody prepping for the androids and even getting to the point of fighting Cell. One, I guess it's just an animation deal, but whenever they get that far, everyone gets way more developed, way more ripped, way more defined. Uh, especially Tien. We also don't have a TN yet. Where's our TN? And then you gotta go, which TN do we go with? Do we go with early days TN? With just the green pants and like the red thing? And then he better come with a Chiaotzu because that would be pointless to give us a TN with not, without a Chiaotzu. I don't want to buy a whole separate Chiaotzu. He's not even Krillin sized. And then if you give us Yamcha, give us early, early long hair dyed in a whole Yamcha, give us him with a little Puar, um... And then give us a Cyberman with a uh, Nappa. Then it gets worth it. If you're going to charge me 25 bucks for a figure that basically just comes with a set of hands, that's not worth my time. Unless I'm that, just really got to have it. But to me, one thing Marvel does over Bandai is gives you accessories. Now, Bandai will give you a lot of accessories in other forms. Like whenever we had Power Rangers, you got some weapons and or build them Megazord parts. And when we were still doing build-a-figures, especially large ones like, you know, Broly or Broly, or <laughs> not Broly, uh, or even uh, Fusion Tazamas, which I still need a, I need to see if somebody has a just parts like Fusion Tazamas so I don't have to go through buying all the individual bits. Um, because I still have some of the spare bits. I might be able to make that happen. But I wouldn't mind having a regular, like, mutated Fusomus to go with my perfect one. Uh, that was a side story. But since they stopped doing the Build-A-Figures, it seems like they're not giving you anything else to justify the cost. Especially on smaller things. Like, Gohan is small in comparison. Krillin, tiny in comparison. But he still costs $25. It was like, those are the ones that justified the cost with the Build-A-Figure, because the smallest guys usually came with the biggest torso part. Usually Frieza came with some larger parts. 
Kaba came with some large parts. Kaba is so tiny, there's so little plastic in him, that it's kind of pointless. At least, uh, Gotenks has an enormous amount of hair. Which I still need to see if I can go through and hollow out that hair a little bit uh, to help lighten the load. I already feel like I had Lewis head on. But either way, I'm just kind of rambling at this point about the figures. Um, I just wish they would give us something. I mean, and when it's a character like Tien or Yamcha who has a tiny sidekick, give us said tiny sidekick. Uh, give us original Saiyan Saga Vegeta with a uh, Cyberman and give us a bigger Nappa and then also give us uh, Raditz. We don't have a Raditz figure yet. I mean, he's not going to stand worth a damn because his hair is so big, but he's also bulkier. So that'd be cool, you know? And then we also need like an early days Goku, like hardly any definition <laughs> ready to go into that battle. Uh, and we need a Nimbus. Sorry, we just need a Nimbus with that. And why? So they do Super and they do Z, but there's no Dragon Ball figures in the Stars line. Come on. Stop giving us stupid repaints of figures we already have. Give us some good stuff. This is Bandai. They have a huge catalog of Figwarts they can base things off of and just make cheaper versions of said Figwarts. Do it. Either way, so that's it for this out-the-box reaction. I hope you like it. Let me know if you got this Gohan, if it's worth it to you. I really think you would have been closer to like 17 bucks if I could have caught him on clearance or something. Or uh, with the coupon. I already used my coupon this month, so that's it. But I will catch you guys later. Remember, as always, fall on everything.